What's up guys, Lore here taking a look at just the tip of the Great Fusion. This is another adventure game. It's another point-and-click adventure game that I came across. Uh, it's on both iOS and Android. It's $1.99 on iOS and $1.95 on Android. I don't know why. Apparently they just don't need those four cents from the Android version for some reason. But, uh, yeah, about, about two bucks on both platforms. Looks to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more lighthearted than uh, yesterday. But, still... Definitely digging how many uh, point-and-click adventure games are now starting to pop up on uh, on touchscreen devices. Hopefully this is another good one. Let's check it out. New game. Year 2012. Here's Max Malawi. Apparently there's no voice. Despite his stupid looks and dull gaze, Max is a hardware and biotechnology engineer. Apparently there's no voice voiceovers or anything like that. Wow, it looks like he just discovered a new technology capable of projecting floating three-dimensional images, holograms. And wow, that's actually, uh, this is hologramma, but that's totally, totally Princess Leia over there. We called you to let you know that you are fired. But I've just made an incredible discovery. I have a chat bubble that goes in my nose. It's great, however, the company is going through a very tough economical situation caused by the crisis. We are therefore going to fire 100% of our workforce. Wow, this guy works for EA. Except for my wife, my cousin, and my brother-in-law's friend. Never mind, he works for 38 Studios. I don't care! I'm a bright person and I'm going to find another well-paid job where I'm going to be able to carry on investigating. Poor Max, he's such a naive guy. Nowadays, 2022. So, 10 years. Max apparently did not find another great playing, uh, paying job. Tap close to an object. A circle will show something. On the left side of the screen, there's a tab. Drag it to the right to, show, to open the inventory. You can combine objects all together and with other objects in the environment. Drag one and drop it on top of the other. Okay. Pretty standard. You can use the mobile to call the contacts you will store during the game. In Max's mobile, you can also find the clues that will help you during the first part of the game. Oh, okay. Don't use too many, it will make the game less exciting. So there is a clues mechanism. This looks like... I like that. It's very obviously designed for a touchscreen device. Uh, and with a touchscreen device in mind, because you actually do just drag that and pull that out. All right, let's come over here and it's a drawer. I don't want to grab the drawer. I want to grab the mobile. Let's look at it. I never leave home without it. Go ahead and grab it. Go ahead and picked it up. Hi, Max. Are you busy? No, I had the afternoon off. Drop by the bar right away. I have something important to show you. Can't you tell me what it is? Not over the phone. All right, then. I'll be right over. Noticing that Max uh, appears to have a little bit of a bulge going on there. I'm not talking about his muscles, either. Right, let's look at the computer. We had some good moments together. Was it dead now? Can I use the computer? I'm not up for it now. Can I take the computer? It's not a laptop. All right. A bin. Side of it, there's a tube ticket that seems to have one more journey left. Right, well, let's take it. I don't know why I threw that away. Why would I throw this? <laughs> All right, so let's head out the door. We'll go find the bar. Oh, hi there. Wow. Dude just does not. Well, wow, someone died right directly on my front door too. Out of service, John 314, do not cross. I remember what John 316 is, but I don't remember what John 314 is. Apparently can't can't maneuver my way around to look at that. I can talk to the landlady. I can look at her. My landlady, an old woman who stinks of cat piss, she rents out half the building. It's the other half. Can I talk to her? 
Oh, I have options. Yeah, I wonder if I should worry about the chalk silhouette on the floor and the blood sli the blood stain. It depends. It's from the last tenant that didn't pay. Oh, damn. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to be a, be a dick. That's right. I haven't paid you and I never will, you damned witch. Is she going to kill me? What are you talking about? You've got an hour to pay me or I'll kick you out. Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't have been so mean. Let's go out the door. Hopefully, you won't be able to leave until you pay the last two months' rent. Wow. Okay. So I gotta come up with the last two months' rent somehow. Maybe I'll talk to her again. Maybe I shouldn't have been so mean. Look particularly pretty today. I'll be nice now. Really? Thanks? Wait a minute. You're not going to confuse me again. Wait, what? Have you forgotten that you owe me the last two months' rent? Well, not not terribly. Say I paid you last week. You are wrong. <laughs> are you sure? Sure. I think I left the check in my other trousers. I'll wait for you here. Crazy bitch. All right, well, let's go back in the door. Dude's waiting for me at the bar, but I have to pay rent before I can leave, apparently. Uh, look at the drawer. Me drawer of my desk. Okay. Chewing gum in the drawer. Go ahead and take that. Plus chewing gum. Anything else in there? It doesn't look like it. No, nope, just go ahead and close that. So where's my damn checkbook? Or am I just broke and I can't afford to actually pay her? There's nothing useful left. Junk. Lots of computer junk. Use the computer? Not up for it now. It's not a laptop. Okay. Oh, notice how if I tap near something, that must have been what I was saying earlier. It's not, it's not specifically attempting to swirl on his balls, but that's definitely what's happening right now. But when I tap near something, it'll light up for a second like that to show that there's something usable there. So do I just not have a checkbook? Window. From here you can see the majestic pollution covering the city. Alright. Doesn't look like there's much else going on in here. Let's go ahead and we'll check out the mobile phone. Well, that's kind of neat. Pops up a little mobile phone of some sort. What's this? Notes? Okay. Apparently don't have any of those. I should be able to go out without paying the rent if I manage to make the landlady leave. Oh, okay, so that's the that's the hints. Alright, so we'll not not mess with that some more. We'll just figure out how to make her leave. Shock silhouette on the floor and the blood stain. Last tenant that didn't pay. And, okay, so talking to her doesn't seem to work. Let's look at the business cards over here. A lot of my landlady's business cards. We'll take some. Now I have a business card. What else do I have? Chewing gum and a, a tube ticket, which I'm assuming is some form of rapid transit. Can I go up the stairs? Doesn't look like it. Can't do anything with that. Or with the bucket. We're over here. Wait, what was that? Mop. Let's grab the mop. Don't touch my mop with your dirty hands. Okay. Well. But you won't let me leave without paying the rent. 
Alright, well, let's try using things on her. Not sure it's a good idea. Use chewing gum on her. Don't stink think that sticking that is a good idea. Use that on her? Better not to. Can I use them together? Use the phone on her? Not sure it's a good idea. Alright. So apparently can't use any of those things together. Man, I've already I've been in here for like two seconds. I've already come across one that's giving me trouble. Alright, well let's check the notes. She might go if I call her with my mobile. Why would I do that? But I can't call her. Oh, okay. Alright. So that's how the tips work. Now I avoid picking up his calls. He's a... He's a she. Alright, now we'll call her on the phone. If she doesn't see me calling her. Oh yeah, good call. Let's go over here. Back in the door. Hello? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greedy Landlords Association. Most avaricious and cruel landlord in this area. Let's see if that works. Hooray! I knew that so many years taking advantage of my tenants and treating them like shit would finally pay off. <laughs> so what's the prize? Alright, it said a pizza in the tip, so I'll do that. Just, just to keep things moving. It's my favorite pizza. I'll be there in a second. I'll follow the smell. Jesus. Alright. So now I'll be able to leave. The dude is pretty mopey. In 2012, the financial crisis got even worse and some countries couldn't get over it. Uh oh. Europe soon was plunged into a terrible chaos and the rest of the continents followed. I don't quite remember 2012 going like that. Mass redundancies, political corruption, and the unemployment rate alarmingly increased. In light of the situation, people started demonstrating, which brought repression and police outrages. That dude has a chainsaw and a chain gun. I'm just noticing. Cops went nuts. I'm trying to read the sign. This one. This one back here. I'm trying to figure out what that says. Something something future. Don't don't quite know what that says, but alright. In 2015, a plan carried out by the global powers begins to unify all the countries under economic problems. Uh-oh. Inventions seem to be working. Poor people paying huge taxes in order to maintain the rich one's welfare. That doesn't sound like working. Other countries soon adopted the reform, and everything ended up being controlled by a single country. This was introduced to society as the Great Fusion. Little by little, the Great Fusion managed to turn this. That sign again. Maybe it says, give us a future. Into this. Dem boobs. I'm calm and happy, me too. That's a cop helping out an old lady crossing the street. And boobs. The economy was stopped because of the new currency and the workers' salaries went down. The middle class disappeared and there's only a very rich high class and a very poor one. The, la the later representing 98% of the entire world population. Man, there's a there's a good 99% or there was a good 99% joke there, but they kind of missed out on that a little bit. Almost none of the industries thrived, and the prices were increased, especially those of multimedia content. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't see this. Wrong page 101. Not today, boy. Are you looking to me? Oh, I missed what it said. Let me go back and then forward again. 
does it say? Drastic and effective measures were taken to preserve the royalties. Downloading films, books, or music became a more serious crime than being a killer or a rapist. Wow. The dude's like getting caught on fire. Only seven artists survived after these measures. The government took ownership of the rest of the multimedia contents. Only rich people could afford those contents, so they were the only ones able to access them. <laughs> Dragon War Whale 3. More of two minutes of gameplay. 1,000 plus obligatory DLCs. All the technological developments were stopped so that all the available investments could be directed towards other priorities rather than investigation. No more money for stupid things. It's not profitable at all to be an artist, investigator, or anything similar. <laughs> I&D, art, tech, health support, movies, education, video games, security, companies, innovation, people. <laughs> Max spent more than two years without a job that matched his talent. He had to resign himself to the first thing he found. Uh-oh. What's it gonna be? Walking around on the street, apparently. Alright. He has a quite menacing attitude. Let's talk to him. Can you please show me your badge number? Piss off or I'll crack your skull. Well, that's nice. Never mind. God. All right, well, let's go find the bar. There's the metro over there. I don't want to take the tube today. It's my half day off of the week. <laughs> so where's the damn bar? Is this the bar? Seems like where I came out of. It is. Gotta find my buddy at the bar. Maybe it's down this way? Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. All of a sudden, I went way faster. It's bar or bear. Let's go ahead and... Well, actually, before we do that, let's check around for other stuff. Doesn't look like there is anything. In we go. Alright. There's my buddy over there. He's a focused guy. Seems very focused on his laptop. Talk to him. Hey there, what's up? Go away. Talk to him and say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, but... Okay. Who's Johnny? The dodgiest guy in the neighborhood. He used to beat me up until one day I helped him format his computer. Now he seems to respect me. What's up, Johnny? Well, well, look who's here. Are you being friendly or are you going to beat me up? Haha, <laughs> you've always been a pussy. <laughs> That's how it used to be. You are gifted with these machines, lad. The bullying times are history. It's not such a big deal. I just formatted your computer. Don't say that! I don't like to be contradicted. Okay, I rock. That's the way I like it. Well, well, look who's here again. But how is business? To tell you the truth, I'm getting loaded since the fusion mess started. Never thought that selling candy in front of the schools was going to be so lucrative. Uh, why don't they keep buying them wherever they're buying them now? Or whatever, yeah. Why don't they keep buying them wherever they've been buying them until now instead of buying them from you? Haven't you noticed that there are more stores closing down lately? Almost all of them are either selling the business or the premises, and obviously nobody can afford them. It includes even the shops that used to sell candy, newspapers, and that sort of things. So that's where I come in. You thought about running your own shop. 
so that all of my profit are taxed and in the end I end up selling it like one of these losers? That's a good point, actually. No thanks. Yeah. Good, good, good strategy. Go with what works. All right, let's talk to this guy. Man, I'm already dreading talking to this guy. I know him for years. He's not a bad guy. He looks, looks like a nerd. Hello, I need to talk to you. I've been trying to call you, but your mobile phone was busy all the time. How is it busy? Yeah, I was taking care of some business. Okay, apparently it was busy. All right, what's the urgent stuff you wanted to talk about? You're not going to believe it. It was today while I was working. Meanwhile, you were checking for stuff in the trash cans, don't you? <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter. The thing is that I took a different path and I found this. Oh, damn. Verbatim and rewritable. Shh. Shut up, Maroon. You know what can happen to us if someone finds out that we have this, don't you? I haven't seen one of these in ages. Is it blank? It's not too full, but something has definitely been burned on it. Where exactly did you find it? Doesn't matter now. All we, we have to check its content. According to the CD production date, it was manufactured before the Great Fusion. Who knows what sort of valuable information it could have. Or boobies. Well, we've got the rest of the day off. We can go to my place and check it. Okay, let's meet up there later. Why later? Why not right now? Talk to him about any... Let's meet up at your place in a bit. Okay. Can I talk to the barman? You still owe me for last week. Are you going to pay me someday? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Maybe one day, but I don't have an exact date for you yet. You're going to have to think about a different way to pay me. Uh... <laughs> Listen, the fact that my boss calls me a bitch doesn't mean that. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, you sick bastard. I mean, you'll have to wash the dishes until you pay what you owe me. Well, that seems fair. I definitely prefer the last option. <laughs> well, when you finish washing up all these dishes, we'll be even. Oh, there are many dishes. There's not even that many. Those ones will only pay off half your debt, so don't complain. So am I going to look at the sink? The sink is full of rotten food leftovers. Man, what the hell? The dirty dishes is really disgusting. Wash the dishes. I can't be bothered if there if there was... I can't be bothered, excuse me. If there was a way to wash these dishes that was quicker than doing it manually, I would be able to leave this place sooner. I don't... Okay. This is the garlic. Bunch of garlic useful against vampires. Let's take the garlic. Nope, vampires don't exist. Apparently I can't take the the garlic. There's a tap. I'll use the tap. For that, I should block the sink, but I can't see the plug. Apparently I can't do anything with the sink. What's in the cupboard? Soap. Seems important. A bunch of tea bags. I take a small bag. All right, it's in the fridge. The grease accumulated on the hinges doesn't permit me to open more of the door. I'll grab the cheese anyway. I'm seeing a rat down here. A rat, <laughs> oh thanks, very descriptive. I've, I've now picked up the rat and he is in my pocket. That is interesting. All right, what else we got going on around here? Well, there's a pot here. I need to renew the houseware. I don't know what that means. What's in there still? Oh, still a bunch of tea bags. I already have one. I don't need more. And the cupboard. I could close it if I wanted. But I don't think I need to. Let's tap around a bit more. See if we can't find anything else in the room here. So back door. If I leave now, I won't be able to come to the bar ever again. That's unthinkable. Good point. Uh, I can come out here, but is there anything else even out here? Oh, what's that? Plate with olives. Don't touch that. Okay. I'm betting I probably want the olives at some point. 
What have I got in my inventory that I can use on that guy? <laughs> the soap says Fight Club. Use relaxing, okay. There's no point doing that. Can I put the rat in the pot? Not sure if it's a good idea. Cheese in the pot? This is too absurd. You know what? I don't care. Alright, what do we got going on in here? That, well, I, I can apparently go back out, but that was not what I wanted. Oh, I can look at the television. Don't have the remote, and even if I did, I don't think you can watch any channels. Alright. Surprised it still works. Plate with olives. A very Mediterranean plate with olives. Alright, well. I don't know why I have a rat. Can use the fridge again and close it. Doesn't appear to be anything else in there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Nothing there. Alright, so let's see about maybe using the rat on the sink. This is too absurd. Cheese on the sink? Don't follow you. Cheese on the dirty dishes. Well, dirtier than they are. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe now use the rat on the dishes? It's not of idea, however, the rat is too dirty. Can't take the garlic. Use the rat on the garlic? Don't follow you. Use the pot with the tap? I mean, better not to. Put water in the pot. Can't see the plug. Sink is full of rotten food leftovers. Use the pot with the sink? Prefer not to try that. Relaxing tea? No. Not sure it's such a good idea. Alright, there's gotta be something in here I'm just straight up missing. Dirty dishes with cheese. Now they're dirtier than before. Yeah, I get that. I think the idea is to make the rat eat off all the food. Which is disgusting, by the way. Apparently reclose the cupboard. I need some way to clean out the sink. Leads to an alley. But I can't leave because then I would not be able to ever come back to the bar ever again. Alright, rat. I can't even use the rat with the tap. Use the soap with the sink? Use the soap with the pot? No. Soap with the tap. Don't want to clean anything. Yes, you do! You want to clean off the rat! Prefer to keep the chewing gum. Better not to. Not sure it's a good idea. Come on. Can't see the plug. Okay, so how am I supposed to unplug that? Is there something more out here, maybe? Tamp around a bit more. Talk to the focus guy. Do you mind if I take an olive? They're all mine. Get your own. So there's no way you give me one? Pissing me off. I said no. It's just one you're not going to notice anyway. What's it to you? I'm going to kick your ass. Piss off. You haven't eaten any for a while. In the end, we're going to throw them away. God, take as many as you want, but leave me alone. Good. Take the olives. Alright. Not sure what to do with the olives, really, but I have them now. Talk to Johnny. Look who's here. Uh, Alright been through all that. Talk to the barman. Maybe the barman. I need a plug for the kitchen sink. I don't know where it is. It's your problem. 
A beer, please. Show me your money. On second thought, maybe I drink too much. <laughs> How are you? I'm not giving you any more credit. I only said hello. You said that I'm not giving you any more credit. Alright. Doesn't matter. So definitely a little bit... Uh, I'm not sure where this game is originally made. But... Uh, definitely a little bit of weird translation going on. Right, well, let's see. Olive in the pot, olive in the sink. Olive with the cheese, olive with the rat, olive with the soap. None of anything that's happening right now makes any sense. Olive with the sink. It might be used as a cork, but I need to clean out the sink first. And I can't use the rat with the sink. Alright, well, since we're starting to run a little bit late here, I'm going to go ahead and use the phone. Need cleaning utensils to use in the water. The rat could do as a sponge. Combine the soap with the sink and put the rat in the soapy water. Okay, but I have to... The hint is not helpful. I need cleaning utensils. There's some right up over there. I can't take the garlic, even though it's there for some reason. Can't use the tea with that. I can't go out the back door. Nothing else in the fridge. Not seeing anything else in anywhere. Hmm. The hints were basically worthless because that was pretty much stuff that I'd already kind of figured out. Not that the rat was going to be a sponge, but... Talk to this guy some more. No. Dear barman, I need cleaning utensils. Doesn't matter. There's got to be something around here somewhere that I'm just missing. I've been trying to use these like ladles and stuff up here, but they don't work. I can try to take tea bags, but I already have one. Combine more things in my inventory. Not really getting anywhere right now. Pot with garlic, tea with garlic, no, soap with garlic. Don't want to clean anything. Yes, you do! You want to clean all this stuff. Before that, I should block the sink, but I can't see the plug. Yeah, you need to just scoop that crap out of there, you dumbass. What the heck? I can't leave. So definitely... Very, uh, very much like an old puzzle game in that... Sometimes if you just don't see something, I have no idea what I should even remotely be doing right now. I'm betting I can't leave. Can't go out to the street. You know where you think you're going, that's what I thought. There's no other parts of this room. 
Nothing else back there that I can use. So, there's nothing I can click on, which would mean that I have the stuff that I need. So can I, like, use something on Johnny, perhaps? No point doing that. What's the T for? Use the T on the relaxed guy now. Alright. Oh, what the... I tried to do that before and it didn't work. What just happened? <sighs> I hate this. <laughs> I'm I I think maybe even though there's like I was getting hung up on the idea of having to pull the stuff out of the sink because it was still in there on the screen. But I guess when I use the olive on it clogged it up anyway. Alright, now a little soapy water in there. Clean the rat. I have a soapy rat. Soapy rat on the food there. Hodeway, homemade dishwasher is working. I can now leave and let her do her job. Okay. So I can just leave. There we go. And there's my friend talking to a lady. Well, you're already here and in good company. Yes, I was waiting for you here. Tell your friend not to make me waste my time. If he doesn't have any cash, he might pay more attention to you. <laughs> I think his head is going to explode. Don't worry, man. Catalina and I have been friends for a while. Come on, leave her alone. Let's go to my place to check that CD out. Oh, I didn't know you were up to these things. We met at university. Well, she is indeed a prostitute. Only a few remaining engineers have not yet turned to that profession. Aw, oh, I'm starting to consider it. See you later. You know where to find me. I swear I was talking to her about the weather. Whatever. Bit later at Max's place. So I had to enslave a miserable rat in order to be able to see your mysterious discovery. And it's only a video game from the 80s? Well, it could have been something really interesting. It's freaking Pong. Furthermore, if you give it a thought, it's not so bad. This is the first video game that was ever made. Classics never die. You're right. Let's see the credits. I'm curious to see how many people actually programmed this thing. Pretty sure it was just one. I think it was just Nolan Bushnell. Oh! Things got red. This can't be true. Oh, damn. It's copyrighted. You guys are gonna die. It's copyrighted. We have to get rid of it if we don't want to die. What if someone saw us? Shouldn't we take it to the police? You already know what happens to those who hand these things over to the police. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. For F's sake, haven't you seen how many lobotomized people are around? I don't follow you. Lobotomized? Game of phones. Come on, dude. Let's say, for example, Mike the Fishmonger. He managed to get his hands on a novel from the black market. Game of phones? I guess that is just a P. Game of phones. You are breaking the law. Come with us. Are you not supposed to read me my rights? What rights are you talking about? Oh. Currently, his wife takes him out to the park in a wheelchair with a blanket covering his legs while he dribbles. I thought he was like that because he watched too much Big Brother. That's what they want us to believe, but it's not true! Johnny the doormat shop clerk was caught listening to an illegal copy of Justin Bieber. Bieber. Now he eats using a straw. Going to have a really good time with this one. Creepy. 
Of course, but everyone knows that this is a side effect caused by his music. Fair. No, even if his music is horrible, you won't get more than a transitory embolism. You shouldn't become a vegetable. It's handled by the establishment. They silence anyone who can potentially spread unauthorized work with copyright by brainwashing them. They don't have to know. We just have to tell them that we found it somewhere. I'm not sure. Those bastards know everything. They're going to find out. So what do we do then? Just kill yourselves. You live in the worst possible anything. Yes, I score. Okay, so they just play it instead. Hey, don't push me. So don't cheat. What are you talking about? It's not my problem if you don't know how to play. Wait a minute, it's already done. Yeah, so they've just been playing Pong all night. I'm late for work. I'll stay a bit longer. Sometimes trust sucks. I said don't push me. Alright. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Uh, this has been... Uh, the first little bit here of The Great Fusion. Interesting game. Um, I like, like I was mentioning earlier, I like that it seems to have been designed for a touchscreen from the get-go. Not sure how I feel about it overall, though. Very, uh, like, the tips were kind of, kind of worthless at one point. Which, I, I mean, I guess I shouldn't need the tips, but, yeah. Uh, I guess that was just something that I hadn't figured out at that point, I suppose? I don't know. I guess that doesn't bother me too much. But, eh, I don't know, there's something about it that's kind of... Kind of rubbing me the wrong way a little bit. Maybe it's just the weird translation errors. Um, they just kind of make the whole thing feel a little bit extra cheesy. Like I said, I'm not sure what the original language that this game was done in is, but uh, I'm betting it wasn't English. So that, that may be it. But that's also something that I guess I could kind of look over. I'll go ahead and give this game... I'll go ahead and give it a 3. It doesn't seem bad, and I'll, I might may, I might play a little bit more of it, just to see where it goes. It just kind of feels like I don't know. The it doesn't. It's not hooking me really. I guess is the big issue. It's not really grabbing a hold of me and making me want to play more of it. It's not like, like if it was something where there were a few issues and, but the game was like good enough otherwise that I was willing to like just sit here and say, hey, you know, it's not it's not as good as it could be. But I really like if it was just really grabbing a hold of me, then I would have given it a four. But I don't know, the story, I guess, maybe, maybe I'm an asshole, but I really don't care about Max and his problems. So, it's just not really grabbing a hold of me very well. It's not, the story isn't really, really hooking me too much. Maybe I'll mess around with it a little bit more. We'll see. But, uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Lore, and I'll see you later.